What's going on YouTube, Bird here, and in today's video, we are going over an insanely awesome pepper shaker with my in-game heavy gunner build to go along with it. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button with the Fault 76 if you can see this, and subscribe for more Fault 76 content. Let's get into it. Starting off everything, this is it. This is my three-star legendary pepper shaker that we're using for the video. And the main legendary effect is the anti-armor effect, which is ignores 50% of your target's armor, has a VATS critical hits to do plus 50% to damage, and it also has a plus 50 damage resistance while aiming. This pepper shaker is insane, and the mod that we went with is the dual barrel, laser magazine, gunner sight, and the default appearance. This is the pepper shaker in all of its glory, and now let's get into my entire build. Over the normal perk cards, so these are all the normal perk cards that help make up my in-game heavy gunner build. Starting off strength we have 15 and this still can have an assortment of heavy gunner cards and shotgunner cards to get the max amount of damage out of this build over in perception we have six and this still can have skeet shooter maxed out your shotguns have excellent accuracy and spread we have concentrated fire maxed out that's target slims focus fire to gain accuracy and damage per shot over in endurance we have seven and this still can have kim fiend maxed out any kims you take last 100 longer and we're taking formula p overdrive and psycho buffs we have fireproof maxed out take 45 percent less damage from explosions and flame attacks we have radical maxed out the greater the rads the greater the strength and max plus five to strength over in charisma we have nine and this one can have lone wonder maxed out when adventuring alone take 20 percent to less damage and gain 30 percent ap regen we have field surgeon maxed out stim packs and radway right will now work much more quickly we have tenderizer maxed out make your target receive 10 percent more damage for 10 seconds after you attack over in intelligence we have three and this one can have nerd rage maxed out while below 20 percent health gain 40 damage resist 20 percent to damage and 15 percent ap regen over in agility we have 11 and this one can have action boy maxed out action points regenerate 45 percent faster we have enforcer maxed out your shotgun gain a 15% stagger chance and a 30% chance to cripple limb. We have adrenaline maxed out, gain a plus 10% to max 60% of damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. Over in luck, we have 15 and this still can have bloody mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red pace. We have better criticals maxed out. That's criticals now do a plus 40% to damage. We have one gun army maxed out. Heavy guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple limb. We have serendipity at one star. While below 30% health, gain a 15% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. We have ricochet maxed maxed out, gain an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemies range damage, no PvP, and we have starch genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from rads, and right away will never cure your mutations. But this is it. These are all the normal perk cards, now let's get into my legendary perk cards. Over in the legendary perk cards, so these are all the legendary perk cards that help make up my in-game build. Starting off in intelligence, we have that at 2 stars, we have endurance maxed out, strength at 1 star, luck at 2 stars, far-flung fireworks at 2 stars, and funky duds at 1 star. These are all the legendary perk cards, now let's get into my armor and my mutations. Over the armor, what I'm using is a full set of unyielding gear which is what i recommend you using because it says gain up to plus three to all stats except endurance when low health which is absolutely fantastic for us because we are running a low health build over the mutations these are all the mutations that i'm using i have adrenal reaction bird bones eagle eyes egghead healing factor marsupial sky skin and speed demon now the main thing about this build is you want to get mutations that boost your strength though i do not have any of those right now that is how you're gonna get the most amount of damage out of this build now let's get to some demonstrations the first wasteland freak on our list for the demonstrations is the level 75 scorched overseer vault 51 that goes by the name Karen. I'm just gonna start by obliterating Karen, that way I can get a good ease on her. Okay, excuse me, Karen. I'm gonna need you to get the heck out of my way, that way I don't die by these freaking lasers. Oh god. <laughs> gotta breathe, gotta breathe. Reload. Once we reload, we're gonna pop out of the corner, we're gonna blast her in the face. Look at that damage. Oh god. And just like that, Karen is no more. Now, let's move on to our next target. The next Wasteland sicko on my list for the demonstrations is the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name of Maxin. I'm first gonna start off by shooting Maxin's feet, that way he's crippled, look at that, oh poor poor Maxin. Then we're gonna obliterate his face. Oh god, oh god, there we go. And just like that, Maxin is no more. The next monstrosity on my list for the demonstrations is the level 100 Myler Queen of Spruce Knob Lake that goes by the name of Mrs. Krabs. And honestly, we're just gonna begin by attacking her spouts, that way she can stop shooting that poison at me, because I hate poison from the Mylers, because it can absolutely destroy me. But look at that, I think they're stopped. Now let me just shoot her legs real quick, you know, that way she cannot be moved. Oh god, oh god, who are you? Get off of me, sir. There we go, fantastic. You just got me a little bit more damage against your queen. Let me just uh, cripple you now real quick. Oh, 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 right to the face, you poor, poor bug. There you go, you like that? Eat my laser, and just like that, the Myler Queen is no more. Let me take down this bad boy real quick. Now let's pray for all these disgusting Mylerks in their afterlife. Oh dear wise Mothman, I pray that you look after all these disgusting wasteland freaks in their afterlife. And if you want a full power armor build to go along with this pepper shaker, I will link it in the video right now. You see that? That is the full heavy gunner power armor build. 